Okay, so we are doing the end of the day video. Jet has, oh damn, I thought you were only doing two rows. That's like three or four, ain't it? Look at that, that's the kitchen floor. We have the refrigerator is actually plugged in. Yeah, cold beer. Um, we have, you see I trimmed out these two windows this morning before Jet got here. We've got our holes ready for the light fixtures tomorrow. I'll paint that first thing in the morning. Uh, I got to sand it a little bit around it and paint it first thing in the morning so you can put the lights in there. Um, that looks amazing. It's freaking, oh my God, it's freaking amazing. Okay. Uh, you remember yesterday we were working on the cabinets. Mike got here today. Smoke detectors. So we have smoke detectors. We don't have to worry about burning well, though we've got the little hair net on them. Well, that's the but we got smoke detectors. We've got to figure out what we're putting in here for lights or, or ceiling fan. Um, yeah, and here yeah. I'm working on my cabinet, the countertops and stuff on that. Another smoke detector. You have to have one in each of the common areas and in the bedrooms. So another smoke, huh? You have to have one in the bedroom and one outside. Right, outside the bedroom. So that's the one outside the bedroom. We have our new hallway light fixture. And this, Jet finished putting down the rest of the tile in the bathroom. I know some of y'all say it's crazy, but you know, y'all crazy. But take a look. I got our vanity built and the faucet in the sink. Okay, so is this crazy? Is that crazy look? Look at that. This is our color. It's like a light gray. So you have black and white and shades of gray. We got the light fixture. He hasn't put the domes on them because I need that. I got to paint around that tomorrow, so we'll do that. But check it out. Look. We have running water. Running water in our vessel sink. And look. Wish, wish. Um, painted the ceiling up here, although I got to sand lightly tomorrow over there. And I got to do the trim work. I may... Uh, paint this first thing in the morning on the walls to make it easier for Jed. He's going to start working on the tile. We painted the ceiling in here, got our light fixture in the ceiling. Um, because the ceiling is so low, this is going to be a washer and a dryer is going to be in here, and then just like closet rack, you know, so that way it's a little bit of closet. But a nice, you know, flush mount light in there is good because you don't have a whole lot of headroom. But looking at our cabinet, I'll make a drawer that'll go around the pipe there and some doors to go around it. Towels can go up underneath of that. And I think, and of course, we're going to put base molding around it here. But I think it's actually pretty good, if I do say myself. Uh, the top is made from wood that came from the floor joists and 2 by 4s that we reclaimed, as well as the corner posts are also from 2 by 4s that we reclaimed. Um, so... We're reusing pieces of the red brick house to have it live on. And of course, look at that kitchen. Bam. Hmm. It's not focusing. Let's see. There we go. Amazing. The kitchen floor is freaking amazing. So tomorrow, um, Jed will slap down those few tiles that are left over there in the kitchen. And then he's going to start working maybe a little bit on the wall tiles. Yeah, that's what's wall tile. And uh, then it's really going to start looking like something. Um, Ground some floors. Right. <laughs> but um, uh, I'm only going to be here for a few hours tomorrow before I hit the road because I've got that that thing with Mama this weekend. Uh, growing on a cruise, 20 years of being together. And Mike's got a birthday party to go to, a birthday for his lady. So. Yes. That's what it looks like here at the Red Brick House. Um, haven't, well, no, let's go upstairs. I forgot. Let's go upstairs. You didn't put the light fixture upstairs, too, did you? No. Yeah, this is the light fixture for upstairs right there. So, and these are the light bulbs for upstairs. Um, up here, we've got, there's a smoke detector. And our countertop, this is the countertop for this bathroom up here, right there. Um, smoke detector there. We've got to figure out what kind of, oh, we don't have any lights in here, do we? 
you take this one down, or did they? I guess they did. Okay. All right. So we got. We, we, we'll do the lights tomorrow. Um, in here. And we got. Yeah. Did I can't remember? Does the, the exhaust fan have a light? Okay. If it did, so. We painted the walls in the bathroom here, and I had to spackle up. Oh, there we go. There's I had to. There was a, we had to move the wire. The wire was not in the right place. So I have to sand that out tomorrow and paint that. So we put the light fixture on there. This is actually a Bluetooth um, shower device and exhaust fan. So you'll be able to uh, hear some music and it's right over the toilet. So if anybody goes to Brown Town, it will suck it right on out. So that's what we've gotten done here. And it feels good. Um, and that's it. Peace. Whew. I'm, I'm sitting here. Um, Jet's finishing the last few tiles. And um, I am exhausted. I'm exhausted, but I feel really, really good about this place. There's been so many people that have come through and seen the place or are talking about the place and are interested in the place and we're learning more and more about the history of it and I will say that this place has taken everything um, it's taken everything that uh, skill that I've known that I've done in my life and put it to the test and is teaching me a few that I've never had any experience with. And I honestly feel blessed because there's no way in the world I could have done this thing. And I'm not done by myself. My wife, who has always been there with me, um, took it to a whole nother level with the work that she's done, like stripping these windows and everything else. Um, it's amazing. My son, you know, when you think about this house with all new lights and electrical and everything else, that every inch of wire is all brand new. And the fact that we we're able to do all this, and so you don't see any of it. We didn't have to put conduit on the outside of it. To the drywall guys putting up the drywall and uh, doing the sheathing outside. And my buddy Jet helping to frame up some of the some of the shower and stuff down here and doing just an outstanding job on the tile. It's just been been a, it's been an incredible journey. And I know it looks like there's a lot to be done, but just looking at that bathroom from where it was yesterday to now having running water in a sink, I was able to wash my hands. And we don't have to go to Walmart to the bathroom. That's amazing. And seeing the tile on the, the kitchen floor and seeing those two windows trimmed out, it's just, it's almost overwhelming. But um, we're going to call it a night. And we'll be here in the morning for a little bit. And then I'm going to be hitting up the room. Whew. I'm feeling thankful right now. I don't know what I'm going to do when this place is done because it's been crazy. Well, you want to top, what's the next project? Hey, sleep. That's the next project. I appreciate you good people. Thank you as always. Peace.